With the model in view finished, for the time being, we're ready to alter the controller to handle the registration process. You'll remember that in the form we added a hidden input with the name of action and the value of register. This input is the trigger that will tell the controller what action we need it to process. In order to do so, we need to add a matching register case in the switch. Before we go into the case statement, however, we need to require the accounts model into the controller scope which we will do immediately following the existing require statements at the top of the controller. Returning to the register case statement, we will follow the process described in the class activity. First, we will filter and store the incoming data to local variables. The data is collected from the post object since we sent the data from the browser to the server using the post method. The name value pairs within the form match the names from the client's database table. We will store the data into local variables of the same name. Again, we do this to form a clear data trail to follow. Second, we check the filtered data to see if any of the data is missing. If so, we set an error message and return the client to the registration form to fix the error. Third, if no errors are found, the data is sent to the function in the model as parameters. The model will then attempt to store the data to the database, and when done, send back a number indicating how many rows were changed in the database. Fourth, the value is stored into a variable, which is then checked. If the value is 1, then the insert was successful and an appropriate message is created and the login view is delivered back to the browser. Fifth, if the value is not 1, then we create a message indicating that the registration failed. The message is then delivered back to the browser in the registration view so the client can try registering again. In either case, code must be present in the login and registration views to show the message. See the code blocks in the views of the video. That's it. All that's left is to test our code. Make sure the local servers are running. Open the PHP Motor site and click the account link in the header. The login form should be delivered. Click the link to open the registration view. Do not fill out the form, but click the register button. You should be returned to the view with an error message showing. You may want to write CSS to make the message stand out from the other text on the page. This time, fill in the form with your own information and click the Register button. If everything works, you should be looking at the login view with a success message. Open the PHP MyAdmin tool and check the client's table. Does your record exist? If yes, you're in business. If not, double check your code against that shown in the video or seek help. Good luck with this process.